hey, hey, Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. I am Deborah. This is Purusha Intuitive, and we're going to be looking at your energy for the next couple weeks. So let's get into it. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope things are moving fluidly for you, hopefully. And for the places that they're not, we're going to start off with an energy cleansing clear out any unwanted, unnecessary energy, blocked obstacles, confusion, illusion, all that hubbub that we don't need right now. And we'll also set the intention. So this is a great time if you have specific questions that you would like answered or would like a little guidance and direction. Right now is such a great time to ask spirit help set the intention for this reading for you. Obviously, these are collective readings, so just use your discernment. Take what is yours, leave the rest behind. And I do personal readings if you want me to look at your specific situation, so definitely hit me up. I would love to support in whatever way possible. All right, Sagittarius, let's get going. I bless you with pure love and light pure source energy, pure love and grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best messages from coming through, fear, doubt, insecurity, lack of worth, lack of value. Help make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Amen. So nice. I love just setting the tone with that. It's a great way to ground and center. So if you are feeling all over the place, if you have a lot going on mentally, emotionally, practices like that are really grounding. You know, they help stabilize. They help recenter, you know, make you feel a little bit more calm, cool, and collected. That's the nature of the beast, right? <laughs> so we're just coming off of a full, or no, new moon, excuse me, in Taurus. It actually had a lot of positive and harmonious aspects to it. Even though we're still dealing with frustration, difficulties, there's been a lot of tense <laughs> energy in the air lately. Everyone's just a little... <laughs> you know, annoyed, frustrated, etc. This new moon really helped to give us the energy, the support in order to overcome people, places, and things that we are struggling around. So Spirit's asking you to make sure that you stay grounded. We have a lot of Earth energy right now in the astrology, which is really nice. A lot of the planetary placements are in Taurus. So it is giving us that stabilizing effect. Oftentimes, fire energy, Sagittarius energy, it's about going, doing, expanding to the next best thing. And Spirit's asking you to be a little bit patient over these next few weeks. Or I'm even hearing taking your time with things. It doesn't mean that you can't make decisions, accomplish goals, etc. But take your time through the process making sure you're understanding all the ins and outs, all the nooks and crannies that you might be coming into contact with. This is about stabilizing the day-to-day. -day. So we all have that everyday comp component, kind of the mundane, I would say, to our daily living or, you know, just the things that we have to get done. You know what those are for you. So, the grounding, finding ways to feel more balanced and stabilized so that your energy is not spread super thin. And then integrating that into your daily routine. We have been getting this message, the Zodiac as a whole, the collective, to simplify. Yeah, I love it because when we are more simplified, <laughs> when we don't have as much chaos, going on, it really does help us to tap into the magic of life. The magic 
meaning being very present. That value of like attracts like. When we are more grounded, settled in our being, it's easier to draw the things towards us that we actually want <laughs> versus the things that are just going to make our life uh, more chaotic. Yeah, it, it's going to help you tap into your intuition. I'm hearing this especially in relation to right action. Right action meaning that we're not second guessing ourselves, that you know, we're so in tune with our being, what we want, what we desire, that we're able to make choices, again, that are in alignment with that. There are some things that we're seeing that um, we need to be a little bit more disciplined about is what I'm hearing as well for you, Sagittarius. It's going to make you a lot more successful. It's going to allow you to achieve those goals that you have set or find that happiness and fulfillment, right? However that plays out for you, take it as it fits, as it resonates, as I mentioned, leave the rest behind. Definitely make sure to like, share, and subscribe as well. I appreciate it 100%. It really helps grow our community here. Okay, so this is not fun. There's, okay, tower moment. I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing for most of us, it might not be the biggest explosion, but there's some things happening or that have been happening. Um, you're already experiencing this and it does feel a little bit destabilizing. It is that proverbial tower moment where we might be feeling a little unsteady, unbalanced. Again, really honing into this message of staying grounded you know uh yeah i saw this knight of cups as well while i was shuffling so this is cancer pisces scorpio energy you're coming up in this way of like you have the best intention you want to overcome something that's been really difficult like i said i do feel like this tower isn't happening right now it's already it's either already happened or you're kind of in the throes of it. And you're really looking, evaluating, seeing what the best course of action is. This You could be dealing with a love relationship, an ending of a relationship is what I'm hearing for some. For others that are happily matched, it doesn't have to be love or happily single. This can just be someone that you have a strong connection with. It can be a business partner, a close friend, a community member, a co-worker, take it how it fits, how it resonates, how it fits. Yeah. Okay. So someone who's feeling really down and out, <laughs> kick to the curb is what I was hearing. There is this part of you. I, I don't know that you caused this tower moment. I feel like it was in the making Obviously, we all contribute to situations in our life, whether, you know, how whatever side of the coin we're on. So I do feel like both parties have contributed to this. There's someone, this, I don't know, this person wants something with you, but I feel like they're licking their wounds is what I'm hearing. They're not necessarily communicating to you. I almost see this energy of kind of hermiting themselves. not really knowing what to do, maybe trying to look at things from an analytical perspective, but at the same time, it's really messing with their mind. And in a way that I feel like this lower vibrational side of the Queen of Swords comes out between you two. Why? Let's look at this. Let me get some clarity on why. Okay, so a lot of this, <laughs> there are some things that um, I, I feel like residual effects that are happening with this tower. It's making you second guess. It's making you, again, back to those original messages about being grounded, being more balanced in your day-to-day -day living and not really feeling that way, feeling more on the defensive, like you've been through it and it's been really exhausting. I feel like money is an issue. It is a, a role that's playing out, especially in your environment. It might not be attached to you. Maybe you did 
lose some financial gain. Maybe you didn't get a job you were looking at, a raise you were hoping for. Everyone's situation is going to be different, but there are some pentacles on the board, especially in, you know, that again, pentacles represent that earth energy. So uh, repeated cycles. I feel like this is something, again, you've been through this before. This is a, a period of your life that you're feeling, you're questioning how it's going to play out. And it does look like there is a lot of backstabbing. There's a lot of betrayal in this dynamic, Sagittarius. I'm sorry to hear this. I'm sorry to see this. That's where that, again, simplifying your day-to-day, -day, your space, your time, your living is really going to provide a lot of success. Someone who wanted to be a partner, someone who wanted to, to have something with you but wasn't able to communicate what they wanted. And so instead, this, this situation has spiraled it's spun out of control it's made a lot of mess we see with that ten of swords repeated past mistakes so you could have just gotten tired with someone who <laughs> in the relationship it happening over and over and over again pursuing your own success i saw this as well while i was shuffling six of wands putting your own success first and I feel like that's what's going to take you from this Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. Because the Knight of Cups is just like not sure. Like, eh, should I do this? I have the best intention, but I'm not really sure if I want to go down this way. The more you pursue your empowerment, your victory, the stronger you're going to feel, the more success you're going to find. It's actually going to help shed some light on some of this dynamic. The places where there haven't been conversation, where there are still holes or gaps in the knowledge, right? Like not having all the pieces of the puzzle is what I'm hearing. Lots of cups energy on the board as well. So water and earth. And in Ayurveda, um, water is actually a part of the earth element or in the way that they do kind of marry off of each other. When we're too watery, when we're too emotional, our earth energy is really mucky. It's hard to stay stabilized. But then if there's no feeling, no emotion, no water energy, then it's hard as a rock, <laughs> right? So finding that balance. And there is a lot of baby energy on the board in regards to our emotions. So again, this is something that does really play on your heartstrings. I feel like this person is going to offer you something. But again, there's a lot of hesitancy, a lot of uncertainty. I almost feel like it's hard to pull the messages out because there's something that keeps stopping, if that makes sense. Like it's almost like hitting a roadblock. But they want to connect. They want to. They're going to need you is what I'm hearing. They're going to need you. They're going to need your help around something. It's going to require you to forgive this person or this situation. We saw that yesterday in our collective energy poll. So definitely check out that short. The message of forgiveness. It releases those energetic cords from the past. Past situations we're ready to let go of. It also allows space and for us to open up to the new. I feel like this person does want your forgiveness. I feel like there is something about this where, you know, they are feeling rejected. I feel like this is pretty disappointing for them. But again, there's not a lot of communication. Yeah, but it's going to happen soon. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Confirmation that communication is going to happen soon. And I do feel like this is someone coming to you with an offer. Again, they're not 100% about what they're presenting you. They don't feel confident. You don't feel confident. You're trying to figure out what the best avenue is to smooth things over. 
not necessarily that you want to re-engage in with this person or in this situation, but you don't want to feel so exhausted and stressed out all the time. The nine of wands is that value of where we've, we've been through battle. So love is coming up. I feel this conversation obviously is going to involve chatting about the connection that you have. Uh, you guys are coming up as the lovers, especially in their environment. So for them, this is something that's incredibly important that they don't want to lose. You could have children involved, especially if this is a family dynamic. There's a lot of change happening. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> but not a lot of peace. <laughs> I don't usually read reversals, but I think it's really funny that this message of peace came up that way. Because again, it really kind of confirms that un unsettlement that I've been picking up throughout this whole reading. I feel like your best bet, Sagittarius, is really going to be to just find a little bit more balance in your day to day. Don't try to accomplish everything at once. That value of splitting your energy. You're going to be way more powerful if you cut out the things that really just you don't need to pay attention to right at this moment. And, and really kind of um, strengthen that part of you that feels confident, that feels worthy, that knows, knows your value, knows where what you bring to the table. I think it's going to help you deal with this baby energy that we're seeing. Someone who doesn't really know how to communicate is afraid to communicate because they don't no, <laughs> whether or not this is going to be a peaceful conversation, but that's to be determined <laughs> how everyone wants to handle it. Sagittarius, thank you so much for your time and energy, especially if you've made it this far in the video. Please know I'm sending you all the love and blessings as you're navigating some of the tougher stuff. Definitely drop comments below. I love to support in whatever way possible. Thank you again. Sending all the love and blessings your way.